Now, I said from the very beginning, the plan here is Jeep slash Rock Bouncer. And when you're talking about Rock Bouncer, obviously, we're going to talk about monster big heavy axles, and that's exactly what we have here. This is a 40-spline 14-bolt rear, and then we have a 40-spline front Dana 60. Now, I'm sure you're looking at these things and you're thinking, those things look massive, and they are. We're talking a four-inch axle tube and a giant knuckle on the end. But the reason that we chose this particular front axle is because we plan to run a very specific axle shaft over there. Now the axle that I'm referring to is this bad boy right here. Now this is what is referred to as a Big Bell RCV. Now we're going to get to why we're using these in a second, but we first need to talk about why are we going to put RCVs in anything. I get asked all the time by people when I'm out on the trail and they see my rigs, like why should I swap out my U-joints for a set of RCVs? Now I looked over the entire shop to try to find a set of axles with U-joints in them and honestly, unfortunately, I don't have any. I've kind of thrown them all away. But I do have this example right here. This is a short side of a drive shaft and this is what you would normally see inside the knuckle of your axle shaft a U-joint, a universal joint. The problem is that it has four points of contact between essentially your carrier and the tire and wheel. And when you turn this when you're off-road, it doesn't keep flowing in a constant motion because of those four points of contact. If you actually saw this in a uh, like high-speed camera, you'd see it actually almost work in an oblong uh, movement. That's why when you're on the trail and your tires start to spin in the front of your vehicle, and often you'll see those vehicles, the tires will start hopping up and down like this, that's caused by the oscillation inside this U-joint. Inside an RCV is what's called a constant velocity joint. We now have six points of contact throughout that entire turning circle. And when the joint turns or the star on the inside turns, it smooths out that motion. So what happens is you have a smoother output of power down to the tire and wheel. And I'm sure you kind of figured out by now that we're talking about breaking parts. Anytime you are jarring a suspension component or a driveline component, that's when it breaks. So if we can smooth out that action, there's less chance that it's gonna break. The good news is, is that if it breaks, if you have an RCV, You've got a lifetime warranty for your application. So this is a Jeep JL set of RCVs, very popular application. You can see a big giant CV joint at the end. This is gonna be warrantied for up to a 43 inch tall tire in your vehicle. Another option would be to step up to a set of one tons. This is for an 05 and up Dana 60 Super Duty, very popular upgrade. This is warrantied up to a set of 47s. What we're running, as I said before, is this. 40 spline Big Bell. This is the Mac Daddy of them all, the biggest one they make. There is no limit on tire size or horsepower for this bad boy right here. So like I said from the very beginning, we're building that Jeep slash Rock Bouncer. This is it. But the best news is, is no matter which set of RCVs you choose for your project, it truly is a buy once, cry once scenario because not only are they warranted for life and built in the USA, they are the strongest axles on the planet. Oh, that's heavy. Okay, so that cleared. Now we gotta come off this. Look at that, right there. Order. That's its home. This shaft combination is all 4340, but if you're looking for the ultimate upgrade, RCV offers all of their shaft combinations available in 300M material, making them incredibly strong. Boom, installated.